Hello! It has been a long time since I have done one of these videos. I use that term loosely because it's definitely not professional. I probably sound like I'm in a tunnel because you, well not you, but the phone, my phone, is sitting up on the kitchen windowsill and the light is so good. Not. But I just felt led to do another one of these today as I looked over on my stove and saw a dirty skillet because several of you, okay, two is a couple, three is a few, four, several, so several people have asked me how I clean my cast iron skillet and so I'm going to show you. I cook in cast iron every, iron, cast iron, that's how I say it, I don't know how you say it, iron, no, absolutely not, cast iron. Every day, I use it for breakfast, not usually lunch because I don't usually cook lunch, but supper basically every day or dinner, whatever y'all call it. I call it supper. Anyway, I had a dirty skillet here from breakfast this morning. It's got eggs in it. This is a little baby one that I love to use for like a sandwich or an omelet or an egg and doing this? Do you know what I feel like? Who Who's going with me? Who, who remembers the movie? Rapunzel! I feel like Rapunzel minus the flowy hair in the tower. But I have the skillet. Anyway, so to clean your cast iron skillet requires two things. One of them is not soap. Do not ever use soap of any kind on your skillet. It's just the biggest no-no in the cast iron world. Just don't do it. Excuse me. I had to turn the oven off. Got a roast in there that needs to sit for a couple hours. I think I'll video that one time too. But anyway, I digress. And there's, there's children screaming now. So I knew that's how this was going to play out. Anyway, you never use soap. It takes the, it takes away all the goodness that all the grease and the, the seasoning that you're going to do with your pan, it just, it, um, it ruins it. So don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't be that person. Nobody wants to be that person. Okay. What you do need is either still wool without soap in it or mm, something like this. I don't know what it's called. It's called the Ringer. It's a great name because it's like ring. The Ringer, hold on, cast iron cleaner. There you go. They're as original as I am. The Ringer cast iron cleaner. It, I found it on Amazon and I like it because it doesn't get all grimy and nasty and I can put it in a little dish and leave it right at the sink where I use it every day. So you just turn, Turn your water on. I know you can't see me. There we go. Water, still wool, or still mesh. Get all the gook out of your pan. All right, next, the next character in this play, paper towel. Dry the water. I don't always dry the outside, but dry the inside good. Put this on your stove top. Oh, hold on. I forgot the most important character in this play. Grease. Can you see it? Can't see it. Bacon grease. I keep bacon grease on my stove top. I realize not everybody's going to do that. And that's okay. You don't have to. But it's what I use. And I just dip paper towel in the grease. It's lovely. And I wipe it around just like that. Sometimes, so if you don't have bacon grease, you can use any kind of grease or oil. Just grease, Crisco, whatever, grease. And that is literally all I do. You can turn the stove on and get it warm. I do that sometimes, but most of the time I don't. I think somebody, some people worry about germs. I'm not really a germaphobe. We don't get sick. Like we, I do this every day. 
We don't get sick. We haven't died. I don't know. I think um, when you heat the pan up and you cook in it, it's going to kill anything. I think that's why some people use soap, but you can't use soap on cast iron. It just negates the whole purpose. So that's how I clean my cast iron. I realize there's other people out there that probably do it different and have different ways. And that is awesome. It's like um, opinions. Everybody has one. <laughs> and everybody's going to do things differently. But for those several people that ask me how I clean my cast iron, that's it. That's it right there. All right. Now, if you're not using cast iron, you need to go get you one. Get you a good one. A good smooth one. The ones that have like that are all bumpy and ridgy, things tend to stick in those, but get you a good skillet. And you know what? A really good place to find them is like antique stores. Old antique stores usually have them. Or that company, The Lodge, Lot Lodge, they make them. So, I'm not getting paid to say that. This isn't Lodge, I don't know what, this is probably 50 years old, but whatever. It works. Okay, I'll stop rambling. There you go. We made it through without any real catastrophes. Our children, they're fighting right now, but maybe you can't hear them. Anyway. All right. Y'all have a good one. I'm, I'm, I'm out.